Hello guys, my name is Zio Costa and we are back not with just another video, but another video series. And in for this video series, we're going to be focusing on is GUIs. These are graphical user interfaces. So these are things like buttons, uh, what else? Um, there's buttons and stuff. Stuff that the user can click on. Instead of this text-based nonsense like if you want with the command prompt, not any, no text-based uh, things anymore. Now we'll present graphical information to the user. And I thought, let's begin with this video series with something, with something which may be, which can be beneficial to some, and that's just creating a nice lightweight alternative to Notepad. Uh, Notepad is a text editor which comes with Windows, and I thought to myself, let's, let's try and make an alternative using Python. Uh, this can either go fantastically well or horribly. It can, uh, can be better than Notepad or it can be worse. We'll see. Uh, to begin, uh, Python GUI programming, we're going to be using is a module called Tkinter. Tkinter is a standalone module in Python, meaning that we don't require any other, we don't require any installation apart from installing Python itself. Uh, there are, there does exist third party modules for this, but this does require installation. We may explore the, them in a later video or time. But for now, let's focus on Tkinter. And for those who are new to the channel, I will be using Python 3 and all other future versions of Python 3. I will not be using Python 2.7. For this video, we're using Python 3.4, but 0.4 shouldn't really make a difference that much. And let's start with a new file. And before I even begin, let's save. I'm just going to quickly save this before I begin. Yeah, just call, I'm going to call this. Come on. No. Editor. And let, uh, we're going to begin with importing the module. And this time we're going to say from, instead of the normal import, and we're going to say from to Kinta, we want to import asterisk, which just means import everything. We also then want to specifically import over here the scroll text. And what that will allow us to do is actually have a text window like in Python, we've got this text area. That's what that will allow us to do. And I'm going to import it as scrolled text, so to give it a better name than just a kinder. But it's better. <laughs> uh, to begin, to begin actually creating the GUI, we just need to simply type in root or whatever you want to call it. We're just going to assign the um, the GUI window into a variable, and we do this by saying root equals uh, tk. For those who are using Python 2, uh, Tkinta has a capital T, and for those using Python 3, it's a lowercase t. That's the difference between Python 2 and Python 3 uh, in regards to Tkinta. There's also other differences, not just with Tkinta. Uh, we're then going to say class name, and this is an attribute you can give. I'm going to uh, get the class name as just being text at time you'll see what that and you'll see what that does so when I press f5 I get this I get this window over here if I just if I just over here maximize it you can see over here that text at has become the name of uh, of the GUI window um, so you may be wondering over here, why is this lowercase? Well, if you just put a simple space over here, maybe re f5, and now it becomes caps. Uh, I'm not exactly quite sure why you require that space. Um, I don't know, it's just, I think, I don't know if that's a bug with the module or something, I, I don't know, but just put a space. So that we've, so we've created this GUI window with a title and, it's, but there's nothing on it. It's just empty. You do have close, maximize, minimize, but there's nothing else to it. So we need to add a few things. And and we can do this by simply, again, uh, creating a variable and assigning some kind of object to, object to this GUI with some kind of element and referencing to place that onto the root. I'll show you what I mean by this. So if we say over here, text area, there, Text area equals, uh, let's say, scrolled text. 
dot scroll to text. Then we're going to say over here root. That's what's referencing. We are referencing over here uh, the GUI window. You can have multiple windows. The root, I just I name it root because this is the main window. So root for main window. And we're going to set a width and a height. I'm going to set 100 by 8 by 80. Uh, then what we also need to do is we need to say text area dot dot pack. Now the reason why we need to say this is because yeah you can you can uh, create an element called scroll text, but then you need to say okay where do you want it on this GUI? Why well, me just saying pack? I'm just saying shove it in. There, I'm not giving a specific layout to the GUI, I'm just saying stick it in where you see space. Uh, later, when you start to add more and more stuff to your GUI, you'll need to probably create as a grid system and place place uh, things in some, uh, some columns and rows. Then we'll just save here uh, root.mainloop, and the reason we say this is to keep the window open. Keep window open. Uh, so let's F5 that. When we when it runs, you can see over here we've got this lovely text area and we can just come here and type in. But what you also notice is that that's all you can do. You can type, we can't save, we can't open, so if we were to go and get the normal notepad, we do have these options of file, new, open, save, print. We don't have options of uh, font. Uh, we don't have any of that. We'll be dealing with that in the next video where we'll be adding some menu options. And until now, if you like the video, Give it a like, and if you and if you learn anything, feel free to subscribe. Uh, there'll be more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.